All right, welcome back for the last episode, I hope, for the build over the winter of 2016. So the last little piece I need to do, obviously, is get the door panels on. I did buy some new speakers to go in the doors. I uh, bought a new radio to put in here as this one in here. While it seems to work, uh, will not give me a CD back. So I'm just going to change it out. I just bought a, a simple CD player with a USB and input and that. That way I can have some tunes on the road. If I want to listen to AM, FM, radio, and play some CDs. So, let's just get started. This is going to be pretty simple. A couple door speakers, radio harness, all that jazz, and uh, we'll be done. I was fine when you held my hand. I was fine when you pulled me down. You said the stars would answer. You said our prayers were written down. speaker in now it's all connected up I just uh, hard soldered it in I didn't have any connectors so it'll be good there now I did check my Chilton manual make sure the positive and negative are on the right poles on the speaker now it's time to put the door panel on so this is the old uh, old and busted old one that uh, came off the car it's in uh, pretty bad shape I won't say it's great how about that um, I'm gonna replace these eventually but today I'm just gonna put it back on so I have interior now some of you guys, if you've got older panels than that, the speaker itself, the uh, boss that gets uh, sonic welded or whatever to the plastic welded to the back of this uh, tends to break. So uh, one thing you can do if you want to is uh, just put a screw in the back of the bosses, push them up through the cardboard here, and uh, put a screw in them. And that way they will uh, basically secure down there and then the speaker will be tight and then you can just put your one in the corner. So. Let me get this on, we'll get this uh, back routed out, and put the door handle on. Okay, so there is the passenger side done, now that uh, everything's back together. So, new handle went on, I bought this from the salvage yard. Uh, everything else is original that came with the car, so you can see this is kind of uh, worked out. So, at least this needs to be replaced, now this panel itself, now that I've actually scrubbed it off and cleaned it up, not so bad. So we got rubber window molding up here. That needs to be replaced. Uh, everything else, you know, shows its age. It's 23 years old, so it's not bad. And then uh, obviously this needs to be replaced. So the colors are, yeah, you know, the colors don't match. They didn't match originally. So we'll keep it like this until I get time to put some together. So I did buy new clips for the door all the way around. And uh, now it's time to get over to the passenger, or the driver's side, and get that going and get that done. Okay, so the driver's door is essentially going to be the exact same as the passenger door. So, found a speaker in there, get it wired up. Here's the wires here. Uh, basically put everything together. The screws are all here together for the locks, get everything cleaned up, and... Voila, we'll be done with this part onto the radio. Okay, so now that the uh, driver's side door is in, I just put the radio in. So the Kenwood that came out of here obviously uh, is aftermarket. The cage for the radio just came out since I had uh, the aftermarket radio surround that goes on it. Just had to tidy up the wiring. Uh, they did have the aftermarket harness, at least the piece you put on the back of the radio that clicks into the factory harness. That was for the speakers. And then I just had to uh, hardwire the power and ground. I did use a voltmeter to check those. So with that done, uh, now I just really need to get this car off the jack stands and back on the ground and get the uh, wheels uh, torqued on there, get them secured in, and put some gas in it. And that should be it. So this thing is ready for the cruise season. And uh, it's time to enjoy some tunes. We'll see you next time. 